I have something very special for you. Just a kid has evolved into just a beast. And these are three tips that I learned watching his run in the West Coast versus Midwest 5v5 team exhibition. And you could use these things to be more successful right now. I'm pumped up. And if you're pumped up, I want you to go show some love to Just a Kid by subscribing to them on YouTube at youtube.com slash justakid55 and his Twitch at justajack55. Check your primes. Bless the homie. And I also want to thank BG Kalisto for allowing us to use the footage from, from this stream. You, you can check them out at twitch.tv slash BG Kalisto. Huge love. Ch check them out. Bless them with your primes and tell them that Kale sent you. So let's get into the first tip that you can learn from Just A Kid's Run, and that is playing your own game and dying only by your hands. You commit seppuku. If your game plan is wrong, you can always adjust, but victory is in your hands, not the opponent. Just A Kid was really aggressive and dangerous, but they wanted to set their own pace, and it was up to the opponent to stop them. The game plan is clear. Pop V-Trigger as soon as you can, set up a strong throw game, and then use that to set up a throw bait with EX Flip Kick. Free. Just a Kid's just whole plan, set up V-Trigger, set up the throw. Homework. Goes for low, Jerk. doesn't get it, gets, gets thrown. It happens, you know? Boom, throw. Here we go. Goes for a throw again, does not get it. So he's okay with trying to take this gray health. He goes in, goes for a shimmy. Based off of that throw, he throws again. It's all about the throw. Tries to walk up, gets a strong to try to bait out the throw, does not get it. So again, he's got bar. So Jot has to be careful. Goes for EX, goes straight to V trigger. Goes for the shim. The shimmy does, does not get it. Jot puts himself in the corner. Just a kid. Jocking. Remember the plan. Goes for the DP. What's what? He, then he goes for throw, dash up, EX flip kick, back to the throw. When you see it, you see how clear and precise it is. It is surgical. It's easy to see when you see the game plan. It's based around throw, and it's one of her most deadly play styles, you know. Um, players understand that they can attack when she dashes up, but they're just not used to dealing with the EX flip, flip kick yet. Also, um, understand as well is that they set up a timing that they want to play at, not what the opponent wants to play at. There's 25 frames in the EX flip, flip kick, but, you know, we'll see going forward with Filipino man. He found a way to deal with, with it, but it wasn't quick enough. Um, but the natural timing that people have when trying to throw back, it's just ingrained in us. It's just hard to break that. And I talked about that in the shimmy vid video. And again, we're going to see the dash up. Boom. And there goes the kill. It's so clean when you understand the strategy. It's not enough to have matchup knowledge. It's also important to practice this, to, ha to have it ingrained in you so that even when your back's against the wall, you can still execute it. Everyone thinks information and not knowledge are the same thing. However, I believe knowledge comes from executing with that information. Now, we saw in this set here that Jury really shut down fireballs against Flaquito and Filipino Man. Now, we saw this earlier in the 5v5 versus Chris CCH. People getting lazy with their string and forgetting that jury has a way to blow through it just a kid ran v skill one as well as being able to use the ex flip kick that can just blow through cards um the startup of cards important to know and the fireballs now as we watch this clip we see flaquito kind of having a hard time what's the game plan going through the fireballs with ex flip kick as well as going into nice nice button this is the, that was nice. Uh, as well as going into uh, V trigger as early as possible. Now, Rose is doing uh, V trigger um, one here, so they don't have to wor worry too much about it. Now, again, knowing the strings that they can go through with EX flip, flip kick. Nice to walk up slightly. Try to bait the throw out. Again, it's all based around the throw. We see it here clearly. Nice movement. They know the matchup, they know how to get out of that. Now, they pop V trigger. A V skill one, and again goes through the card setup. Yep. They just know. Just, just a kid just knows when to go through, when not to go through, and again, just a kid knows 
He knows when to go through. Now we're going to go to the set with Filipino Man. See how he fared against Just a Kid as well. This is the final um, match. The final part. Now, this is a key part there. The, the light... Pinwheel sets up a plus two on hit, which sets up a throw. Mid mix up. It's all based around a throw mix. Nice punish on the drill. Trying to find a throw. Trying to find a throw. He goes in. Tries to get a throw. Now he's got to deal with V trigger two now. Now he's using his V reversal against this. So going into V trigger for himself is going to be very hard. Gets him out of there. Very nice. Goes away from the fireball. He's watching for it. Nice walk back. What happens here? Goes for the throw now. He needs to get one more hit. One slight hit, and he's in there. How will he set up? And again, he tries to go through the card, but we see once the card is active, he cannot go through. Very, very nice. Super awesome to watch that. Both of them playing their own game, but Just a Kid gets it with the throw. How does Filipino Man respond to this? He knows that he can't really go for the final fireball, but you saw the light. There it is. He got again the light pin, 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 pinwheel set him up again for a throw, which is awesome. Just a kid playing his pace, nice and slow. He has to deal with V trigger two this time, but again, this is going to set himself up. Goes for the oh, goes for the ex flip kick, but you see that he knows how to deal with it because the medium kick is off the ground and can punish the flip kick. Very very nice. That is how you adapt. Filipino man going for the round. Will he be able to clutch out? Goes for the jumping light. Doesn't get it. Pops V trigger. Nice throw. We're sit we are going to set up the throw again. That is the name of the game. Doesn't get the punish. He was too far for a soul spiral, so I get him going for a soul spark. Yeah. All right, what's going to happen? Goes through again with the V skill one. Let's get denying that with the Goes for the card. He chills. Gets the punish, but he screws up the light pinwheel. He was trying to go for a light pinwheel, and I'm going to pause time. This is a very, very key part. Understand, just the kid's plan, I'm a thousand percent sure, was to go for light pinwheel and then bait the throw with EX flip kick once again. That is a nice little um, bait. We see here that it was okay. So again, name of the game, throws. Throws, nice. And trying to punish the fireball, which he does again. He just knows. Filipino man is unable. Look at that. That's the plan. Gets the full pun. Full punch and goes for the cross up. Very nice sequence. And that is going to be the game for Filipino man. The first game. And as we know, Just a Kid ran through the whole team. Just a Kid not only has a game plan, but he's practiced it. He knows the situations to lo look for. He's able to execute the game plan. But most players will say that the key to dealing with a character that has a fireball is to use EX Flip. Flip kick. Hell, I have talked about this in some of my video videos. He did this on stage with hundreds in the ballroom thousands at home this dream highlight has 75,000 people who have watched it he had his whole team on his back now versus filipino man we saw that he got punished for trying to use the flip flip kick but that's okay remember you're playing your own game plan you die by your own hands that's always the way to view it and we saw in that last round how it came together and never giving up which brings us to our last tip that you should be pushing in your gameplay and that is don't give up a lot of these rounds came down to the wire and we saw that he didn't falter hell i don't even think we saw that many exdps he held his ground he stuck to his game plan and he never gave up this clip versus stupendous is really cool it's a longer longer one but stick with me on this just a kid was defeated by stupendous um in his first uh try against his geef and after one spd we saw that just a kid had a really hard time against geef 
mostly his option select geef would do a throw and then just a kid would try to jump out the throw and then when he landed he would get ex spd so let's go into the last one you never give up and if you are enjoying these tips that just a kid exploits <laughs> uh, and if any of this has given you value please hit the like button to show support to me or hit the subscribe button to see more of my content i would love to have you guys again but i am glad to have your nice eyes on me at the current time let's get into it just a kid is down one on this lost on a time over but we see the game plan that he continues to get but what's he do he throws him again that is the game plan that is the strong game plan that sets up a nice 50 50 and again these players are not having a good time against this so if you look at the space spacing just get just trying to stay outside the range now that geef has used v trigger one just get us to be very careful nice jump out swap sides now geef has to deal with the full screen again now you notice he didn't go all the way to the end he does not want the screen to tear checks the dash geef close to death doesn't get an spd punish on that tries to go for the throw again again everything is around that throw v shifts out keeps his range he wants to stay within this specific range does not have anything to make himself safe ex uh, SPD goes for the grab into the option select but doesn't get it but again just a kid still stays outside of that range makes geef over extend and just plays a slow range interrupts after the v trigger and gets it so now it is one to one it is one round to one one round to one round look at him playing his own game throwing out his sweeps at his own pace this is the last match last round stupendous knocked just a kid out the last time and as we know just a kid swept the whole team if stupendous wins this maybe just a kid does not sweep the whole team but gets the conversion on that stupendous trying to armor through goes for the throw again not only does the throw get the damage but it leads to more boom and he jumps out and look oh my goodness what a read just a kid falters a bit when they're knocked down against geef this could be real bad for our hero. But again, playing his own pace, never giving up, and saying, if I'm gonna die, it's gonna be by my own hands. So all Just a Kid needs is one touch, but he gets walked into an SPD. This is bad, chat. This is bad. Stupendous. Uh, you would think that he would go in, but he's trying to build CA. One CA is the win, and his CA is two frames. Jury also has to be careful not to throw the fireball. He's got the CA. He has to be careful. Walking into range. Does not get the jab again. Gets SPD'd. What happens? I pause here. I pause for a specific reason. Look at the health, chat. Chat. YouTube. <laughs> Look at the health. If they jump away, does Geef read it with an air SPD? Geef has shown that he can do so. Does he go for the strike expecting the jump away? Does he just go for SPD? And remember, he's got the throw EX SPD option select in his bag. If he jumps away, even if he gets away, it's not going to kill if he jumps away. So what option does Just a Kid do? Does he bust out? He can't V shift. He's got to deal with the 50 50. What does he do? Let's take a look instant air jumping light kick because just a kid knows he's got to take a risk but he wants to make it worth his while he's going to lose by his own decision but he's also going to win by his own decision as well let's not get it twisted jury is strong but just a kid is a beast just a kid getting the adulation from us and the world because of his gameplay and he deserves it you play your own game die by your own hands know the mat matchups and practice them and never give up now these are things that you can do too don't let anyone tell you that what you're doing is wrong if you are sure of your game plan stick to it until you feel like it doesn't work anymore if you're down on the round it's never over don't give up and please know your matchups and practice them as much as you can if you enjoyed this video do me a favor show some love to just a kid and bg Callisto. you'll see their so socials and media 
socials and media, not just social media, media in the description. Hit them up. And I've been Big Nasty Kale. If you want to hear Just a Kid talk to me and three other jury players about where they saw a jury before this patch, before he tore up the scene and tore up West Coast, you can see the video right here. And I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching. I love to have you all. I would love to have you guys again. Be good to your loved ones, and I'll see you guys soon.